Welcome to the Harvard Crimson's video sports coverage, Harvard's best source for online sports news. Here we see the Harvard women's basketball team take the floor in the Vitis Pavilion to face off against rivals Yale in front of a large home crowd, including President Drew Faust. Looking to avenge its final day loss to the Bulldogs a year ago, the Crimson got off to a hot start. Co-captain Emily Tay, seen here showing off her athleticism with a couple of nasty reverse layups, started 7-for-7 seven seven from the field, outscoring Yale by herself in the first half. Tay's backcourt partner, freshman Brogan Berry, had a nice night of her own the day after her birthday, contributing 15 points in the game. Yale struggled to break down Harvard's zone all night, leading to a lot of fast-break points for the Crimson. All the Harvard players got in on the action, with sophomore Emma Markley seen finishing here. The night, though, belonged to Tay. The senior was just absurd, putting up 20 in the first half and 34 for the game, exiting to an extended standing ovation. Senior night was special for all of the soon-to-be graduates. In an emotional moment, injured co-captain Nikki Finelli got the chance to enter her final game in a crimson uniform. Barry held on to the ball as the seconds round down, and Harvard cruised to a 91-57 victory. The Crimson now heads up to Dartmouth, knowing that a win means a share of the Ivy League title. After the game, Harvard coach Kathy Delaney Smith shared her thoughts. Yale doesn't show us a lot of respect. There's a lot of, you know, subtleties that are pretty disrespectful, you know, and they're they're crazy to do that nonsense because it just makes us play harder and better. Ite knew she had to step it up, and she still got to do for crowd-pleasing passes. And Ite's defense tonight was outstanding. We are not known for defense, we are known for offense. Of late, we're playing good defense, so hopefully we can bring both of those ends of the court to Dartmouth.